guys, what's up? It's Nick from Soul Rebel Rips again with another Set in V3 video. During a run Monday, I noticed the truck cogging worse than it normally does. It had like a snap to it and it was stuttering more than normal before it would take off. I brought it in, took it apart, um, took the power module off, took the motor off that, and when I would spin uh, the motor shaft manually by hand, it would turn d -d 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 -d, and it'd get to a point where it would stop and then almost free, almost get stuck and go and snap over and then go again. It would free itself up. Um, so obviously there was something inside of it. So I took the can apart. That's a significant amount of packed dirt in the bottom of this thing. Look at it all down there. Hopefully I'm getting this pretty good. Best I can through a small, small hole like that. That's a ton of dirt in the bottom of that can. I think it's getting in. In and around here you can see all the little... You can see sand still, you know, making its way through from the factory. These wires come bent over like this, and they're pinched, and they flatten out instead of being straight out of there. And there's no sealant or epoxy or whatever electrical kind of sealant you'd put in something like that, some sort of resin in there. Uh, so anyone with the 3660, 3200 KV uh, Spectrum Firma in the V33S line of uh, the armored trucks, the Granite, the Sentin, the Typhon, and the Big Rock you may want to consider uh, sealing those gaps up with something. I ordered the bearings and I ordered the slipper pads for the steel spur so maybe I'll do all that at the same time but either way I'm gonna definitely seal these wires once I get the bearings and that's it so thanks for watching I hope this helps peace